Hey everyone, the topic we are taking today is memory management and how it is handled in the operating system. So I'm not going through the introduction part of the operating system. Okay, we will be starting from memory management. So yeah. As we all know, our devices that is laptop computers have memory and the management part is done by the operating system. As we have seen through years that the cost of memory has dramatically dropped that now 16 GB of RAM is no big deal and also our hard disks have reached to terabytes. But still, as the RAM increased, the programs running continuously also increased. So it is not possible to keep all the programs at a time in the RAM. So yeah, when that happens, your system hangs and there is a lot of pressure on RAM. So yeah, we can say it is still not possible to keep all programs in the main memory. So memory IO is a slow operation means then when we access memory, the operation is slow as compared to the operations when the processor performs some calculations. So the processor part of operation is fast than the memory access part. So it is stored in the sec programs are mostly stored in the secondary memory which are not required at a time. And the currently running programs are kept in the main memory. So what needs to be done is that our OS must be smart enough. So he can efficiently swap the programs and keep the computer working smoothly okay so these are the five things that ma memory management requirements that is relocation production sharing logical organization physical organization okay we'll be looking in detail okay so as we know the program needs some main memory to execute okay so let's say so what re relocation refers is that uh, as you know the programs are swept in and out of the main memory okay so when a program is swept back in it's not necessary that it's going to get the same location which it got before being swept out so yeah let's say it was in position A when we first loaded the program. Then it was, it got suspended. The OS shifted it back to the memory. And when we lo loaded it again, say it got back in some position C. So OS needs to, re so this relocation can be managed by OS and it, so OS manages this, okay? this relocation because the addresses change every time addresses change as we have seen in programs there are some references to various addresses like their in, inter, internal references jump to this code jump to that if else then data references integer character and other things so all these addresses are in the program are virtual. So there must be some exact physical memory which should be associated with them. So handling relocation means that OS should handle when the program is swiped back to make this internal references to map to actual physical memory. Okay. So yeah. The OS translates these memory references to actual physical address where it is where it can be actually stored. So say like an array, we know say array A of zero, which refers to the zeroth position of the array. So there needs to be an actual place in physical memory where that zeroth position is. And similarly and if you refer to some other variable that is now array position 5 so yeah there should be 
some position 5 also. So the OS manages that and it's not always the same place where it got loaded first when it is swept back out. Okay, another thing the OS needs to do is protection. What protection is? Like there are many many processes running at a time and one process is something that interferes with the da data handled by another process. So it should not do that unless we intend it to, we want it to do that which will be surely not under protection as so to, to prevent the unwanted access the OS should should manage that one process should not interfere with the data handled by another one okay so it becomes difficult when there is a dynamic allocation is used dynamic allocation is the allocation at runtime like we do with its new keyword in C programs so yeah it becomes even more difficult when the it's dynamic so and mostly the mostly in most most of the programs we use dynamic allocations so we need to check all references at runtime when they are allocated okay so there can be a protection hardware which supports this all this which supports this functionality okay sharing as we said before that Processes should not interfere with the data of another process. Okay, but what if we want it to it to interfere? That is, we want some common data to be shared between programs, and it will make sense to if a single data is used by two or more programs to share that, then to create an another copy for every process. That will just put more pressure on the system so yeah sharing should be allowed and must be controlled by the OS and it should not compromise the protection in any way okay now logical organization see the main memory that is in our RAM we can see as a linear address space see there are cells one after another but in our programs it's different our program is divided into various modules segments which some part of it can be shared some can be read and some can, some are protected so there are different segments and there are many references so it's more kind of a logical virtual thing which happens in the program and not like it just a simple linear address space as in main memory so it would be better if in the main, mem main memory we can store our programs the same way as we write it the same way as we imagine it in the form of segments so it would be easier to implement many things if we can store segments into memory the same way as we visualize it so it will be easier to handle memory references and as we provide various protection to modules private read only and all and easy to share we can easily share them as we share them in the program so the closest approach with applies this is known as segmentation okay we will be looking at it in another video okay so yeah so, so now the physical organization is basically there are two types of levels of memory we look at first is the main memory that is our RAM and another is a secondary memory our hard disk so main memory as we all know is fast and so that's why it's costly and the most important is it's volatile so 
if the power goes off everything stored in it will be lost as the opposite the secondary memory is low but as well as cheap you can get G gbs of memory with a very few money okay so so we can make use of both of these properties of this memory so the programs are stored in the large secondary memory as there are many programs and the one which we require to run cur currently is loaded into the main memory okay so that's how we manage it so who manages this see this task can be given to the individual programmer and he needs to do the overlaying that the swapping of segments when there is not enough space in main memory so yeah it will waste time but we can give him to do that and now if we think about it in the multi programming environment as we have talked before the programmer doesn't know where it is actually stored he visualizes it into a like in segments in virtual thing so he doesn't know where exact in the ram it is stored and how much space it exactly takes and from which part to which part so yeah we can't give this task to the programmer so this this management part this is one of the most important thing the os does and so yeah the system should perform this task not the programmer okay so the next topic which will be a continuation of this video and so the next one we will be taking is memory partitioning and in another videos we will be taking many useful aspects as the technique we call paging and segmentation and various page replacement techniques okay so keep watching if you like this video please click the thumbs up button and subscribe thank you